Welcome back to Press X for chromosomes. Yeah, fucking. Ah, just a little win. Not a battle or anything. <laughs> uh, not the end of the world. This might be the final episode. We'll find out. Because it is kind of final battle-y. Oh, no, no, definitely. As in, like, Meridian is a Gone. kind of a rubble pile at the point. So, time to fucking kill everything up here. Yeah. At least the bottom of Meridian, because... Whoa! Whoa! Hey, Loy. <laughs> like how she just stepped across. Like she's like, ah, okay. it's fine. I'm good at fucking jumps. I'm okay. Gotta keep going. Keep pushing. Oh, you're. Oh, that's right. She did have a fucking shit ton of Easy. rubble fall on top of her, didn't she? So no Weak. Back. I don't fucking think I'd even do that. <laughs> good ab work, Aloy. <laughs> yeah. I would more be not confident in my grip than anything. <laughs> yeah. Real grip strength isn't great. You just like fingertips? Mm hmm. Like, I'm like. Phew. It's cool you can, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> I feel like that would go numb quickly. Oh, down here. I can't really go up there, so that makes sense. Aloy. It's Aloy. Well, you, you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did fall, but I got back up. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. I got. It's I got the shit. I can't ask you to come with me. We're about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush? Oh, yeah. Oh. I didn't talk to her for some reason. But she me. is fucking... Um, the trials lady, isn't she? Yeah, she's the fucking... Oh, pfft. <laughs> yeah, <the> fucking headbanger. <laughs> she's uh, the Hunter Lodge. She's supported yeah. me in the Hunter Lodge or whatever. Now she is the Hunter Lodge leader. The, the, the Sun Hawk? The Sun Hawk. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. We <laughs> the fucking sexist other dude the sexist racist other guy and uh she fucking i helped her kill the fucking a giant thunder jaw she's like it's a thunder jaw watch out sona the metal devil okay i mean cool story bro she's probably not doing great yeah but um so she was like the thunder this thunder maw jaw or whatever super fucking Hard and I'm like, bitch, bitch I please. Fit, like, do you see my armor? <laughs> and also, I fought like 17 of these at this point, so meh. Right. Arrival of entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. Hello, Katie. Oh, be a little quieter. Christ. To contrary, calculations are. Precise presence of entity has been accounted for. Also, Hades isn't inherently evil. He just fucking guards the underworld. <laughs> yeah, he's like Satan, kind of. <laughs> yeah, he's not malicious or anything. Yeah. He's just like, eh, you're a bad person. Go here. <laughs> Zeus, on the other hand, is probably like the chaotic evil because okay. he's just fucking shit up all the time. Okay, so a bunch of fucking of this all the time. Hell all yeah. day, all every day. All right. Come on, Aloy. Stop! I hate the fact that, like, the bigger components take more to be blasted off. Yeah, same. Is there something she moved from the side? Okay. I didn't think so. Stop. Something hit it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that's one of the abilities, isn't it? What? Be able to knock a bow right after. I can the actually first one. knock. I should do that. Thrills, baby. Yep, and I f <laughs> exploded them right behind him. <laughs> I'm walking in fire. Whoa. Whoa! Can your thing fucking fall the fuck off? For fuck's sake. How did that not hit? <sighs> this guy is fucking annoying. My thing's healing, fortunately. Execute. Big one wants a piece of you, Aloy. Is this one of those things where it's just like dodge the Deathbringer and oh, not kill the Deathbringer? Okay. Fuck. 
Stop it. God damn, give me a fucking second. Yeah. Like, that's the annoying thing about these guys, is that it's just kind of like, it's a constant barrage. And yeah. It's like, fucking chill. I'm slowly removing components, but I want those big things off. No, seriously. Oh. They can come off, right? I'm pretty sure they fucking are listed as components. Okay. Maybe they can't actually come off. Like this one, because it's corrupted. I don't fucking That'd be know. dumb, though. I just need to fucking hit it with a bunch of goddamn. Be helpful. If only we had the things that were at the ridge. I'll take it. For fuck's sake. Oh shit, you got a timer? Look at it. Fuck at that. Maybe it's how long it takes before Hades and fully controls. Yeah. Got it. What? Oh. I was like, why did that suddenly say zero? <laughs> I thought the game was fucking up on you again. Oh, yeah. All of you, focus on the new machines. Yeah, you guys focus on the new machines. We'll focus on the fucking Deathbringer. Nice. Whoa, oh. excuse me. Didn't you say fucking focus on the new machines? Fucking stop. Oh, hey, that guy's down. Yeah, well, I fucking... Nice. Could you knock arrows a little fucking faster, please? Be nice. Too bad that it doesn't, like, give you a little bit of extra damage for the more arrows you have on your bow. No, it does. Does it? Mm-hmm. I thought it was just like, oh, See? well... I'm, well, I mean, because it's like you've got three, but they all do like 209 damage each, so... Yeah, but it gets done way quicker. Right, no, definitely. Does it have any... Come more? on, fucking put it your fucking thing up. Nice. Fucking component off while Hell doing that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a thing there's on the its back. back. Yeah, you take care of him. This guy's almost dead. He is. Fortunately. Knock more, you piece of shit. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Shoot your friend. I thought this said 1206, and I was like, holy fuck! I mean, there are the weak points for a reason. Right. Woo, hi! Scrapper. <laughs> fuck off, man. Hey, um, can I get behind you, please? Oh, fuck. Man, fuck it, whatever. I don't care. Oh! Drive by. There is a corruptor in here, too. Is there seriously? Mm -hmm. Oh, god damn it. What? What's going on with him? It's fucking. Other than being fucking annoying. It's like releasing gas. Oh. Like, not bad gas, it's just like, you know, like hydraulics. Oh, okay. Fuck, stop! Ugh! 
and I'm fighting corruptors now and shit, and that's just fucking annoying. Yeah. I guess I could use some fucking traps if I wanted. Or... Oh, was that fire resist? That... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Convenient. Really? Since yeah, no, it really is. Shooting fucking... Fellow back bullshit. Put it down, idiot. Oh! God, and I got behind a fucking little barrier. Little tiny, which was just fucking me. Granted, I have a lot more place I can fucking run around, it looks like. And it was like medical routes, too. Yeah. Why is there a blaze up here? Fucking, I don't know. I'm just trying to fucking get away. Gotcha. Hey, dead. Trying to. Well, I mean, it wants you to go after Hades. Oh. Oh, Hades. where is it? Um, on the spire to your right. System threat imminent. Stop fucking. Oh, he fell off. I'm just like, stop fucking like tripping me. Yes, yeah, he now we're back in our normal, normal yeah. armor. Sorry to take off my cool shit to fucking that's get why in the pre-rendered cutscene. That's why I was like, oh, pre-rendered cutscenes, we're back in this because yeah. it, what armor, armor do you have? Yeah. yeah. Tab, be proud of our armor. <laughs> yeah, right. Hi, Hi. Oh, you're now looking like Master Elizabeth Sobek. Oh. Suck it, Hades. Do we see Sharkle in there? I wonder which episode's gonna come out first, that one or this one? Uh, that one. I guarantee it because this one is. We're already on still a week ahead. Yeah. Are they done? Oh, poke it. He <laughs> poked it with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's Nora. Oh, hey, Avad is still alive. Shit, I did nothing. <laughs> oh, it's snowy. Half my right kingdom's here. destroyed, but we're but, okay. But we're alive. Is it snowy or is that ash from the city? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna leave that lance there? Come on, it was cool. Nah, whatever. That's why I was like all or nothing. Jump off a cliff. You're supposed to play after, or you're not. You're not supposed to play after. Oh really? Yeah. The, oh, that's okay. why I was like all or nothing. You sure, you've done everything. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Hey, thank you. You managed to stay yeah, alive. Thank you. Yay! Half a meridian was destroyed, and Avod can somehow think, see us. I think I can see. Oh. She's really tiny. <laughs> Yay! The guy that we thought was going to... Um, the random okay. guard! He's like, oh, oh, the Sun King touched me! <laughs> I like how he's looking at him like, what? what uh, okay. What the fuck? You should have shot an arrow at it, Bob, then he'd know it was you. Push his fucking off. <laughs> yeah! You're not a Cyquist anymore! Now mm -hmm. you're an errand! Ha ha ha! I, I ran a lot of errands. <laughs> I like how his hammer has like a weird like hook on the other end of it. Dude. Gotta smash and grab. <laughs> yeah, smash and then flip around. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit but i hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar pv so the grass caught fire and uh, so did a good old a kids pine that had stood there uh, i don't know maybe a hundred years query you were how old six my mother was home thank god so she called the fire department and after she took me out to her the home and showed me the dead baby birds because there were nests in the pine tree 
Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care. And that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query, what did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will come there she is. Mm -hmm. if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. I wonder if this is actually on the map somewhere. That's literally my thought too. But you are childless. I never had time. Guess it was for the best. I'm a kid now. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable. <laughs> the face of your dead mom. <laughs> See your dead face. Heal the world. Just a little bit. The closest thing I had to a family. <laughs> besides Ross. Yeah, besides Ross. We just forgot about the immediately. The man who fucking took care of us since birth. And like shielded us from death. Oh shit, a fucking spiral herb. <laughs> yes! <clears throat> it's even green. Yeah, no, I know. That's why like, it legit kind of looks like I, one. I, I thought it was purple. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep. Elizabeth. No, oh, fucking naturally, she's in the middle of a goddamn triangle <laughs> flower patch. Does it look familiar? Are you actually asking? Like, area-wise? Half yes and half no. No. I don't, I don't know if that's a special instance or if that is actually on the map. Right. Yay, so we like beat the it! first cauldron. Yeah. The cauldrons didn't fucking really get more interesting. Uh, one was invaded by uh, cultists, though. So Jerks. I gotta kill a whole bunch of them versus machines. But that's where they introduced stalkers, too. And I was like, fuck. Oh. The cultists were like, what the fuck? And because there's a bunch of invisible things, like, killing them. Right. And I was like, I hate you guys. <laughs> I'd rather deal with the cultists at this point. Actually, yeah. it was always, like, a fucking relief when it was human enemies. I'm sure, yeah. Fucking machine enemies are just so much more bullshitty that fucking it wasn't really fun to fight them. Right. I mean, the stalkers are incredible bullshit, too, because they're invisible. Yeah. Well, and you can't mark, even if I see them or mm -hmm. whatever, I can't mark them. Because they can go invisible and then, oh, where'd they go? No, 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 no. If I can see them while they're invisible, I still can't fucking mark them. Or whatever, fuck? and I'm like, they're right there. I'm pointing directly at them. I can <laughs> I see the see fucking you. slight, like warping. Oh, is there a slight warping? Yeah, they're, they're, okay. you can kind of tell through their camo. It's oh, not, okay. They're hard to see, but they're still seeable. I couldn't remember if they were like a hundred percent invisible. Nah, maybe uncool. <laughs> that would Fair. be completely uncool. Yeah. But I like the game. Yeah. I actually really like the game. Besides, like, the gameplay kind of was bullshitty at times. Yeah. Frustrating and bullshitty. Uh, like, the final battle. Like, give me a fucking chance. Break. Jesus Christ. Like, Deathbringer, I mean, yes, but, yeah, but like, not in a good way. Like, it's just frustrating. It's not hard. It's just frustrating oh, no. and tedious because you got to give chance for the person finding the dang thing to take a second so they can actually hit it yeah like, and have some sort of semblance of a chance and one of my biggest fucking issues too when i was doing the trials or mm -hmm. whatever there was they were all themed and they so they'd be like oh like fucking like and well moral story one was sneaking themed or whatever mm -hmm. okay and they want me to sneak a lot or whatever and so they were like Sneak kill, uh, like watchers. Of course, they give you a time limit, so you have to do it really fucking fast, of course. or whatever. Because it's time limit, you can't entirely actually be stealthy, like they right. want you to be. So like it was like sneak kill, and so I was like standing in like fucking. I was hidden, and I was fucking like one shotting watchers. Didn't count. 
Oh, I had to use the snake strike specifically, Lame. and I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" But then it's like, kill three stalkers or whatever, like sneaky or whatever. You with the time frame that you give me to get the best score, mm-hmm. I could literally cannot. Or whatever. Jesus. I have to fucking just sprint right out there and fucking like start stabbing them. Before they bunch. realize that you're there. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, 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 not before they realize. Just like, like, they don't technically have to be sneak, but the whole thing's themed sneak. So it's like, I mean, I, unless, I guess maybe the stalker's just sneaky. So that's there. There's the sneaky. But like, fucking, you're trying to get me to be sneaky, but with your time limit, you you're are not, not allowing. allowing this. So it's kind of defeating the purpose of what you're trying to teach me. Right. And so I got to just gung ho. Like, and there was oh, like, there's all the people who can blame for the AI. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then the fucking, like, there'd be, like, uh, those, like, crab things. Oh, whatever. yeah, And it was, yeah. like, steal three things from the crabs in this, uh, like, from their, like, back things. Oh, that's things. right, because you can sneak up behind them and steal their shit. Yeah, kind of, but you, there's no time to do that. You just have to fucking run out there, and then they all see you, and they start fucking... And the crabs have annoying if you get too close. They're just an electrical discharge, oh. which pushes you back and immediately takes you whatever out of whatever action you were doing. Right. Or whatever. So it, I'd never have enough time just to grab the fucking, like, just get it and run mm-hmm. or whatever. And finally, like, once I finally got them all. And, like, I was like, I hate this. This is so <laughs> fucking stupid. And, like, like, against what you're trying to have me learn right so that's kind of frustrating my but luck you're like sneak but in reality you have to be loud and out there my luck is i would get the thing and then die trying to kill those guys you don't have to kill them oh that's you don't have to, oh yeah. okay okay i thought it was like like steal the three things and then kill them you don't have enough time to kill them oh okay literally you just fuck you have a, it generally gives you two minutes which is barely enough time to fucking grab the shit yeah and that's run. not a lot of time and there's like two in one spot and then there's two in another spot so you have to grab two and then sprint to the other spot and fucking hopefully get one of those what the heck because you have to get like three things so it's okay. fucking un- generally things come in three but everything is triangle oriented so of course makes sense uh but so there's definitely a little bit of bullshit gameplay mechanic and things around nonsense and then, yeah and it's kind of tedious going from place to place here and there I'm but sure. like and sometimes it's just like is there a way just to go like no i'm not gonna fight you leave me the fuck alone and the thing that also <laughs> kind of annoyed me with the trials is that like everything in the area will fucking like huh? like like we'll start fighting you. you're like i completed the trial or i'm restarting can you fucking lay fuck off of off. me yeah because you're gonna just damage me until I get all the way back upstairs, so that's fucking cool. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. Because it was always like up a level, of and course. then you had to fucking like zip line down, and of course the fucking timer starts the second you jump on the zip line, so you lose like depending how fucking long the zip line is, like a handful of seconds, which is bullshit. Yeah, which I'm fucking that stuff infuriates me. At least Spyro is like, oh, you're fighting the boss. Okay, once you move, it's gonna start. Yeah, and that's fucking that's how it should be yeah but fucking not, not, not like here. oh okay you're on the ground you're staring it down let's wait for you to get ready okay go yeah and like <laughs> it's just like and the game is frustrating too because like you said like people would like parry around me which ai i guess like cool like that's what people should do in reality but right. it's fucking well, fuck that yeah just fucking let me kill them kill them dead <laughs> Let me smash. Yeah, exactly. I'm half like you where I just want to smash this, but I also just don't have the patience for it. To smash? Just to, like, get up in somebody's grill and just wail on them. Oh, yeah, I know. I fucking... I I mean, I was very stealthy in this game. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, no. You definitely were. Because this game prides itself on you shooting things. Yeah, you should be stealth or whatever. Yeah. But, and then, like, hitbox bullshit, too. That was yeah. a lot of fucking frustration. And I kind of figured that maybe it depends on how drawn your bow is. But, like, I've seen things essentially go through someone's head. And then, not and then like, they're like, no, I'm fine. And I'm like, fucking, you must like, be Kelly Kitty Ward. Pride. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, no, how the fuck did you survive that? We saw that in the episode with Olin, where it literally hit the dude in the head and just didn't register. Yeah, like, and I had a lot of that happen. And I was kind of frustrated that I'm, like, sniping from the back. Huh? Behind me. And so I was like, now I, that's why I'm always super making sure I'm fully drawn. Yeah. All the time. Because, like, 
oh, some magical bullshit. Well, I'm like when the fucking boat, like, like the that arrow was, curve, yeah, randomly. the curving is what makes me actually just on principle makes me the angriest because fucking there's no reason. Okay, like sure I missed, but fucking to show that like I missed, you fucking artificially curve the arrow away from the head. What fucking bullshit is that? Yeah, like arrows, like bows in real life don't do that, do they? They, they arc. They arc. They don't fucking curve. Yeah. Like, that's... Unless it's some hidden bow technique. I don't know. But, like, fucking... It doesn't seem from like... From what I've done archery-wise, it's always going straight. Right. It's where you fucking aim it for the most part, which that's... It, it always... For me, it always goes a little bit to the fucking, like, down and to the right or something like that. Mm-hmm. But that's just because I'm fucking a noob at archery. But, I- like... And I'm also not... It all depends on the weight you're pulling, too. Right. So... Like, and I'm sure she's pulling a heavy weight Mm -hmm. for the most part. Because she's been trained to draw a bow her entire fucking life. The fact there are some arrows that can go further than others, but it's on the same bow, is maddening to me. I'm sure. Because that's not how it should work. It's 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 how you draw. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe they're slightly more aerodynamic. I don't fucking know. What? Hideo Kojima? I don't know. I don't think that was right. I thought it was like Hideo Kojimo at first, but it was like... N- it, there looked something huh? like it was wrong in there. <laughs> I think he did like the game, though. I He fucking... He's such a movie buff, too. He likes he any movie. Um, Can't wait to see what kind of nonsense I actually, is. I actually thought a little too late of uh, the artist who helped make Aloy. Like, where she would be. Loish. Loish, yeah, where she would be. If she'd be in like design or if she'd be in special thanks. Probably design. Because that's what Cause I was she thinking. Cause she, yeah, yeah, exactly. She created essentially Aloy. Aloy's look. <laughs> Shit, two people ate it doing this. Yeah. Yeah, they might have been old. And overall, it was a very fucking pretty good game. Yeah. It had a lot of gameplay issues, in my opinion, but I mean. It was intriguing enough. It was intriguing. It was fun or whatever. The story was good. Uh, the animation was slightly on Candy Valley, mm-hmm. but it was still decent. So you like it might be in here. But, uh... Ava Potter. Yeah, Ashley Birch is fucking Chloe and Life is Strange. Okay. And she, you know, that show, Hey Ash, what you playing? There was, like, what? an internet show for a little while called, Hey, oh. Ash, what you playing? Yeah, no, or, don't what, know that. What's up, Ash, what you playing? That she's the fucking star of that. Okay. Um, I think that's actually where she got her start, kind of. It'd be, like, her playing video games and stuff like that. I know but, that um, the guild is where Felicia Day got her start. Yeah. I still don't get that. I never <laughs> fucking watched it, but I remember it showing... When I was working at GameStop, I remember it showing up on the TV, mm-hmm. like, ads for it. And people like <laughs> like wink off to it, and I'm of like, course. "Boy, I don't care." <laughs> but like, a lot of fucking names, a lot of people to voice. Oh yeah, holy voice. But like, it was like, and there was some kind of repeat characters and stuff like that. But like, yeah, it was still like, like the in the end of the game got way more interesting to me than like the like first like. <laughs> half of the game oh was. no 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 that's because it's like building up to it all yeah but like and then suddenly oh my god this is way deeper than you thought it was yeah and just, i like wish there was a little bit more that was interesting in the, in the beginning. beginning yeah because yeah. the beginning was definitely a little, a little bit drier. slow yeah. yeah i mean i get setting the story and stuff like that but yeah i did appreciate the like which i never showed but um uh the fucking vantage points Mm -hmm. which showed like essentially like what this place was before fucking like the purge of everything so i saw like monument valley and stuff like that and it was a guy recounting his tale before everything fucking ate it because he was like (laughs) well i'm gonna die so might as well fucking visit everywhere so like nor like that like nora like where that those like ruins are kind of on the like northern map or whatever that's like colorado (laughs) Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right. So this is the Midwest. So, well, that's why I'm like, this map is too fucking... Well, it's like it's all America. Oh. Seeming. Because okay. the Monument Valley is also Utah. Oh. Or not Utah. It might be Arizona. Interesting. But it's too close. It might be Utah. But those two things are still in pretty close proximity. Not like super close, but that's still America. Right. Or whatever. So it's like... Yuri Lothanel. 
Yeah, fucking, he's in everything, man. <laughs> I've just been watching Literally. the main to see if I can pick one out. Yeah, yeah, but like, um, yeah. So I mean, literally, like, it's all America. So there should be shit beyond the borders mm-hmm. because this does not encompass the entire fucking world. No, it's too small to be that. It, exactly, it can't be, and it doesn't. Well, it Granted, it's a large map, around, but I can but... still travel it really fastly. No, I mean without th- fast travel. I and mean, that's what you were saying earlier: is that the map is big, but it's not big. It's not big enough for a world. So like. Okay, I'm curious about the, the fucking capture. I'm, I'm curious about the rest of the world. Yeah, like what happened to them? Yeah, are what they thriving? To, Do yeah. they have their own fucking cultures? I'm the Moon Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> we worship the Moon. <laughs> sometimes it gets red, and then yeah. we do human sacrifices. <laughs> so, yeah, some... mm, I'm not sure if it would get super red since like the int- anymore because that's a pollution thing. Is that a pollution thing? Yeah. So, like, I'm thinking that, like, fucking... Because they goddamn... Like, like essentially purged the Earth initially. Right. Which would probably include, like, the atmosphere and everything like that. Um, the moon probably wouldn't have that. Until it's- we fucking... <laughs> fucking burned a lot of fires again. Because I thought it was because, like, the, the Earth is between... The, the moon and the sun and it was something to do with the light bending off of our atmosphere which made our moon red it might kind of be but like harvest moons uh the orange moon the, oh no no that, I, those I, are all atmosphere yeah, no, the shit. oranges is definitely yeah. the atmosphere and pollution but i've actually never seen like a red moon <laughs> i thought Lindsay jensen was losing a little hand i was like what <laughs> <laughs> hey guys i just felt like i would do a different movie instead of or not a movie a game, a game instead, instead of a, a parrot trap <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but you know, I, th- I thought l- the uh, lunar eclipse was literally because. Oh, well, that's of- a lunar eclipse. Yeah, moon, t- moon turning red, which is the eclipse. I whenever I've seen a lunar eclipse, it's not red, but when Cause the sun is blocking out when the moon is blocking out the sun that's solar eclipse solar eclipse oh yeah okay. yeah that's the solar eclipse yeah. <laughs> i'm like i know my phases i, I know what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> you can't love space yeah i know which is that's the solar eclipse is what's happening um in august which is going across the u.s oh yeah no i've known that yeah for that's like the solar years. eclipse because <laughs> this like, shit's super planned out yeah no and like i'm just kind of like i don't care about solar eclipses as much as i like lunar eclipses because solar eclipses if you're an idiot and stare straight in the sun will literally burn out your retinas and eh, not 100 percent. i mean if you, i've looked straight in the, at that shit before it's not good never, <laughs> it's never fucking harmed me but fucking at the same time you don't do it for a really long time no well, i mean that's, do briefly that's what people get though is that they'll stare at it for a long time and they won't realize that this the moon is moving again mm-hmm. so the sun will start burning into their eyes and they can do extensive damage to their eyes oh yeah, yeah yeah no so that's why you always make like those little shadow boxes you just don't fucking look in the sun yeah <laughs> as a fucking rule life rule you you get your camera you angle it to the sun and go cool no you don't even do that because that will no. fuck up your camera oh can it yeah it can oh, fuck okay. up your lens that i did not know yeah yeah it's it's like eyeball okay it doesn't handle <laughs> sun super well I definitely prefer lunar eclipses more because the moon turns all red and that's fascinating. It's not super red though, if I remember correctly. It's not like fucking like Legend of Zelda red moon. No, yeah. no, no. But it's definitely red. It's kind of red. Yeah. I remember um, when my mom got me the telescope. I think mm-hmm. it was also a super moon. It was like a super moon yeah, we had and a, an is, eclipse. Which is not going to happen for like another like billion years. Yeah, no. Like it like was the, a the combination once of like, in a fucking yeah. lifetime. And it was awesome. Yeah. Because I know because I had my telescope out and I was watching it. Even though I didn't quite need the telescope. I was just like having fun. I thought fun. it was cloudy that day. No. I know I had to put my... I think the super moon lasted though a couple days. Yeah, no, it, it, yeah. it lasted a couple days. Yeah, because it was... Because... Like, I think like the when it was like the peak of it, it was like super cloudy. Yeah. And I'm like, fucking Washington. Yeah, but it was still a super moon when the yeah. eclipse happened. Um, yeah, because it's just closer in its rotation. Like, mm-hmm. if I remember it, super moons are more common than people think they are. Because I think I remember it being a big deal like a couple years ago because people were like, oh my God, Supermoon. It's like not that much bigger. Like it's bigger, but it's not that much bigger. 
Um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a supermoon in my lifetime besides that. I just heard about it. I, I yeah. feel like I've heard about it like years ago. Maybe you're thinking of fucking deal. like. Well, yeah, we had one like a few years ago, well, yeah, but there's no, not no. been any. Like when like, I was a teen. Before. I don't think so, but I'm wondering if people are getting that confused with fucking like like harvest moons and shit like that they Maybe. get huge at the fucking base because goddamn pollution right or people editing photos being like oh it's a super moon and people are like oh my god it's and then they're like moon. not that that's that's not how big it gets it's just fucking perspective <laughs> yeah or something and when people just photoshop it to make it look bigger uh sometimes the pictures that they were showing, it was like, that's obviously fake. Because, like, the moon was, like, you know, like, normally that big in the photo. Like, you know, like, a quarter size in the photo. And they, like, blew it up to where it was, like, a fucking half dollar. Like, I See, don't think that's quite real. Then those are fucking unreputable photographers. You shouldn't be fucking... I, I don't know if they were, like, legit photographers okay. or people who just photoshopped, just photoshopped it. it. Yeah, because I was going to say, like, that's, like, the ones that you see on, like, the news and shit shouldn't mm-hmm. actually, like... There should be reputable, and the people know exactly. Fu- people will just fuck around with colors mostly, and like maybe sharp and certain it areas. It just make up. it look better. Yeah, but they won't actually fuck with the photo. Right, right. No, unless like, you're a wedding photographer, then you're fucking taking every blemish out ever. Right. Um, unlike the one company that you met at the Grand Canyon that put a fucking noticeable star in every single postcard they had. That was um, branding. No, that was fucking um. Uh, craters of the moon oh okay okay yeah let me put that fuck i was like wait a second because <laughs> like all these stars are exactly the same photoshop filter <laughs> god damn <Yeah>. it <laughs> but i mean probably fucking sell photos better that way yeah so Ooh, look at this it's so shiny and look sparkly at, look at the star that's like almost exactly placed the same in every single fucking yeah. like different photo and i was like mm. god sounds damn fake it. but okay <laughs> Well, I, like, recognized it, too, from, like, early, like, drawing bullshit of, like, a fake Photoshop star. Oh, okay. Like, you know, those, like, fake lens flares and shit like yeah, that you can yeah. do in Photoshop? I'm like, yeah. I've seen Actually, that I had fun um, when I was on my vacation in Yellowstone and that kind of stuff because it was, like, sunny. Mm-hmm. Like, we go over the Cascades and that's sun. Yeah. And it was weird because I was like, it was sunny for, like, a week straight. And I was like, what is this witchcraft? <laughs> It, it's so cold like, back home. Smash cut to like this last week has been sunny the entire week. <laughs> yeah, but it, I mean, it's finally like, what is it? June? Yeah. So it's like fucking finally because it's yeah. starting to get more towards summer. Yeah. But uh, finally. But it's just like going around and like, what was it? Mid August? And it wasn't like overcast. It was like constantly sunny. It was like, okay. Um, but every once in a while, like, the photos had an angle. I'd see, like, the bit of the lens flare, and I was like, yes. And I like, try to take the photo and hope that, like, the lens flare will show. Yeah. Because I'm just like, I, a good, real lens flare, I like. No, it does look good in some things. Sometimes I find them distracting, though. That's fair, depending on what it is. Yeah, because you, like, have the fucking, like, nice fucking, like, scenery or something, mm-hmm. and it's like, lens flare, and you're like, <laughs> what am I supposed to be looking at, though? I mostly like it, like, when it's, like, poking through trees. I like it when the sun's streaming through trees, mm, but like yeah. lens flare, like I said, it kind of detracts from photos, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So I have a hard time like putting it in. I can't, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I can't even remember. I've, yeah, I mean, I don't have a peen, so <laughs> definitely, yeah. I have a hard time putting it in. Um, but I don't remember what kind of photos I took. I need to, because it's been over a year now, so. Yes. Probably. Yeah, so I need to uh, fucking finally Did look I at those. Did I go to the Grand Canyon last year? I think so, because I think I yeah, have I was that for at, you. I was still then, working at fucking rooftops, too, and that was definitely a year ago. Yeah, because I... Hasn't I, been two years yet. Yeah, I house that for you guys, and then... Yeah, it was last year, because then Clover got sick when we got back. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, that was last year. Uh, what was I gonna say? Fuck. <laughs> it didn't have to do with that, but I can't remember. Trip nonsense or rooftop nonsense? Yeah, I, maybe. Bo- oh, no, 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 no. It didn't have to do with any of that. Oh, it okay. was literally back on the game because I heard some of the music. Oh, okay. You guys should take the time to fucking, if you didn't hear it in our playthrough, um, you should literally take the time to listen to the music by itself because the shit is goddamn nice. nice. Like, I'm gonna be goddamn, like, looking to steal it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> listen to it on YouTube. I mean, pay for it. 
I say with where I Pay just do with one single discount, one single blink or whatever, because that was double winks. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll probably just put it on my YouTube rotation at work. Yeah, no, it's really fucking calming. Like that's shit that I'm like, I'm probably gonna put my drawing mix and shit right. like that because it's like good like fiddly bullshit oh, nice. like folky yeah and like that shit's my favorite it's kind of fun too because like the new guy that's um taking over one of my coworkers position who uh quit mm -hmm. you know because she put in her two weeks notice all official like and that kind of stuff and they didn't <laughs> they didn't bother <laughs> to try to, to me that always just like later gators what never I mean, come back <laughs> no, the one job i did walk out on was legit yeah but um i've intended i told the there has been a few jobs i've intended to give uh, two weeks notice but i've started like other jobs like almost right on the heels right so i'm like i literally like sorry i can't give you two weeks like it's just the way the pieces fell i gave not my last job but the job before that i was like this isn't a two weeks notice it's a one week notice but i mean it's still kind of like an official like i'm leaving just in one week versus two because they want me to start as soon as possible yeah and i told them i'm gonna finish out this week to help the store because it was like november and i was like later <laughs> don't have to do black friday again <laughs> Fuck but, black friday <laughs> but so yeah she gave her two weeks notice and then they didn't bother pulling anybody into her position to train them and then she left and like three days later they're like oh okay we'll finally bring somebody in like are you fucking kidding me first off because they need to train the person and now i interviewed for a position and according to the hr lady who is very blunt is like you're one of the top three candidates yeah. for getting this position and the two people you interviewed with already like you so she's like you might be getting an offer Monday, which fucking that'll be amazing. If yeah, it happens. If not, whatever. I, I like my position anyways. And quite frankly, I, I mean, don't... it's just like upgrading. Yeah. Too. So it's like no, no loss entirely if you don't get exactly. it. It's a slight disappointment, but it's like not gonna hurt you either. No. Because I mean, you're not going down from my where thing you is, are. is like I'm wondering like can they afford to even lose me because we've lost so many people in my department lately because people are just leaving well, <laughs> it's like sucks well, that's literally at least you're fucking because you're mentioning your like man or your supervisor or something like that or your fucking boss was like fucking like trying to figure out why yeah. like at, at least he's that's the problem with fucking like the government and shit like that where my dad's worked for years it's like they just fucking all these things like they have a high turnover rate and they're they, not even trying they don't even try to figure out oh, why fuck. like why people are leaving all the fucking time or whatever and you're That's like half your problem yeah literally like well literally if you fucking just looked right you would figure it out right but you, you're not the gonna. government and you guys like low bidders <laughs> so, yeah but like and so like at least your boss is trying to figure the fuck out because he's right. saying something is wrong. Well, but when I applied for the job, he actually wasn't my supervisor. I just had my lead and I, we, we weren't sure what was going on. If my lead was going to end up being the supervisor and I would end up being lead, you know, like kind of like everyone got bumped up a peg. Yeah. Or, you know, like, or well, not, if not, somebody. Not you're like direct, but the one that was like fucking the one that starts with a T. Yeah, no, him. Oh, yeah, okay. He, he's my supervisor. Oh, okay. I was yeah. not sure if he was like boss or supervisor. Yeah, no, he's my boss. Um, so I'm literally, I'm under him and then I'm under the warehouse operations manager. So I'm just kind of like, I, uh, <laughs> my boss is pretty high up there. So yeah. don't fuck with my department. Yeah. But, um, so we weren't sure if she was going to end up being the supervisor or if someone else was going to end up being the supervisor, or if he was going to be the supervisor. So I applied while all that was up in the air. And then when everything went through, I never told him that I applied for the position. <laughs> and I, I didn't think anything of it because it'd been like three weeks, no response. So I was like, okay, whatever. And I didn't make the cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I got, I got that email and I just looked at it and went, oh, he doesn't know. I was like, my, my, my lead knows. Yeah. He doesn't know. Because my lead encouraged me to yeah. put it in because I told her, I was like, I feel really guilty if I do that because I'm ditching you. Mm -hmm. And she's like, go for it screw this go for it and i was like okay but so okay. she's like she knows he doesn't uh. <laughs> and i didn't like want to bring it up to him because i'm like i don't know if you're gonna butcher it for me or if you're gonna like be like yeah no we'll, we'll survive somehow without you you know go you know grow in the comp company and that kind of stuff so it's just like oh dear. it might be bittersweet kind of and like he wants the best for you and he understands that might be the way it goes yeah but it sucks for him yeah but it's not, the, it's not the way you can fucking 
it's not right for you right considering right he wants to like teach me a bunch of like administrative and like lead and supervisor stuff too that i'm just kind of like okay uh, sorry <laughs> i might have a different job yeah i mean i told him like he was like oh you know like i want to challenge you and i'm like please fucking do i'm bored yeah please <laughs> i'm the one fucking person that's like can you not i just kind of want to like be a drone forever <laughs> right no i can i work really well in goddamn monday positions just as long as you don't give a shit if i finish all my stuff right i kind of just fuck around for the rest of the time meanwhile my problem is or let is me like, go home because if there's one thing that annoys me it's when they're like well fucking be productive and i'm like literally there's nothing to do yeah. you just are asking me to be busy for the hell of being busy right if i finish my shit because it's not hard let me go home. No, exactly. Whereas I'd like to earn um, money, but I understand you don't want me to fuck around on your time earning yeah. money that way. So compromise. How about I just don't waste the money? Yeah, and just go, go home, home, and both of our time is saved. Yeah, it's a win-win. Yeah, fucking take it, assholes. Yeah, well, fucking works. Places never fucking understand that. No, except like, my last well, place because well, he was fucking. Uh, it was a young company so he's like right. yeah fuck it we have nothing to do better than twiddling our thumbs so might as well right. go home well don't you want your paycheck i mean i do but simultaneously i understand that you'd rather us not fuck around yeah for do our you paycheck. do you want me to steal time yeah or do you want me to get all my work done and go home yeah meanwhile my position's a little hard because it's like i don't even consider stealing time though like, like if you have nothing to do, what are you supposed to do? If you've done everything, yeah, that's <sighs> work in other departments yeah. of the warehouse. You're not being yeah, malicious sure. or anything like that. Yeah, right. no, it's fucking not my contract. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not gonna go do like labor intensive shit if I don't have to. Yeah. But and what's the other department gonna do when I inevitably finish all the shit because I'm efficient? Mm-hmm. One of our departments could use a lot of help right now, though. But yeah, fuck them. Exactly. <laughs> I. <laughs> I just don't want to be around some of the people on the floor. Like, they make me very uncomfortable, and I just don't want to be around them. Yeah, unfortunately. And... No offense to warehouse workers, but they can attract some unsavory individuals. Yeah. I was talking to, like, the new guy that was up there, and he made one mistake in inventory. Mm-hmm. And his lead was out to get, like, for out for blood. Like, trying to, like get him fired and that kind of stuff over one mistake it, it took an hour of rework oh fucking no yeah we're human Sucks for today move on yeah and he got that's kicked. also that's why warehouses irritate me because yeah. people that don't have experiment or experience and fucking like a high school diploma can get hired on exactly and I fucking I don't give a fuck if you're an immigrant. You're still probably still fucking nicer than the goddamn like white people that fucking are entitled and think they own mm-hmm. the world. I've worked with so many of those fuckers, those types of fuckers, and then they fucking act like children and they fucking right. will flip their lids the second that like one mistake's made. And you're like, bruh, right. you grew up making mistakes. You didn't get a high school diploma. That's oh. one big mistake. That's like the easiest thing you can get. You just have to <laughs> be there, right? Like. Like high school may not always be easy. You may not have the mind to learn how they teach. Well, generally people who fucking if it's if high school is hard or whatever, and they dropped out or whatever, people tend to if they are well-meaning individuals will get their GED. And guess right. what? They can do that easier than high school. They probably didn't have fucking teachers that could teach them in their distinct like way of learning. Right. My grandmother. Um, on my dad's side, mm-hmm. she did not have her high school diploma because I guess it was just that era. She had to drop out yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah, she did. Right. Yeah, she didn't go into it. Yeah, she didn't go into it. Um, but when my dad and my uncle were starting to get to the high school era, she was like, she was like, okay, I need to go back to school and get my GED. Mm-hmm. That way, my boys can be proud of me and I can be proud of them. Yeah, like it was a whole thing of like. I want to be a good as, example. Yeah, too. exactly. I want to be as good as them and show them that even if you don't get your high school diploma, mm-hmm. you can still get your GED. You can still get your education. So she went out and she got her GED. Both her sons went off to college. I think for the same thing, actually, because my dad did go into like game design and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. He just chose Boeing over that because it's more stable. Dude, I and mean, everyone that something works at Boeing. Yeah. Um, here. <laughs> And then That's my, our mill. <laughs> it really is. Um, and then my uncle went to the military as a mechanic. And 
then he went into game design and now he's doing something else but yeah. i can't ever remember the something else because i'm like i don't give a shit yeah but <laughs> not your life no it's not um but anyways, back I don't to know my, what like anybody like in my fucking family does to be honest. Besides like my media cousin. fan, yeah. Besides one cousin because he fucking did cool things. Yeah. So like, but like in my interest specifically, <laughs> yeah. it's cool to me. <laughs> but like, uh, but yeah, the rest of my family, I'm like, fuck if I know what they do. Right. Um. But back to my original point. Mm-hmm. The new guy they hired, well, stole from the <laughs> warehouse. He uh. Oh, he's an in-house. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, he was recommended, and I literally told my supervisor, like, he made one mistake, and I feel like he got kicked out of the department unfairly, mm-hmm. and he deserves a second chance because he's human and makes mistakes, and my supervisor was like, I make mistakes, and he's like, my mistakes cost the company thousands of dollars, and I'm like, that's kind of reassuring to feel, <laughs> to like, no. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that is actually really nice that you said that, because it's like... Fucking oh, you make high end mistakes. Yeah, right. <laughs> or it's just and he's like, guess what? I'm still here. Yeah. Whereas somebody screwed up in the um, program that we have mm-hmm. to where the case count was wrong, so they corrected it in one portion of our software, but not the second portion of the software. Mm-hmm. And the tools that I use work off the second portion of the software. So my stuff was wrong. And the sales lady was like, what the hell? She's like, the item like the item card says nine. Why did you route them at six? And I'm like, because of this. Literally, it's somebody else not doing their job and ended up screwing me over. And I was like, I swear to God, I fucking looked at the item card too and it said six. But, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but so, the new guy, he has hearing aids because something happened when he was younger and he lost most of his hearing it happens he's not much older than us either yeah i always feel but... bad when that's like the case because you're like oh this is fucking shit luck and life yeah man. exactly but at least you got shit that can help mm-hmm. and so he'll actually take out his hearing aids and he'll put in headphones while he's working so it's like fuck yeah i can listen to whatever fucking music i want put on all the soundtracks because <laughs> the the girl that i worked with before she did not give a shit what i played as long as it wasn't like swear words it was all like, the time like rap <laughs> yeah like hardcore rap or like, yeah, or like screamo metal. death metal yeah. then she would like be like what the fuck <laughs> like one emo song six more vodka <laughs> yes please like okay i was oh. wait i was hoping something was gonna be it because i was like it ended nicely but kind of ended like emptily you can make a second game oh no don't you fuckers Bye. Where's it going? Silence. Silence is like, oh god, fuck. Oh, he caught it. Hello, old friend. Remember me? Don't turn traitor, you bitch. We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. I bet that's why he gave us his staff. Mm-hmm. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. No. I was... So this leads me to leave this either DLC or another game. Mm-hmm. Another game wouldn't be bad. No. Please fix some gameplay issues. <laughs> I was actually wondering what was going to happen with his comment of, I would do it again. Being like, bro don't because <laughs> i caught that just barely because we were talking about something i wasn't yeah. quite looking at the tv and i saw that i was like ah <laughs> like call me yeah maybe i get to make a decision if i'm fucking who i wed <laughs> the next game <laughs> the but. second game starts off with who you're gonna marry <laughs> everyone yeah okay everyone <laughs> hooray vinny's just like but i kind of like this no <laughs> you're mine I am anointed. <laughs> You've become pompous with your fucking standing. Yeah. You just fucking hover above and everyone. And Varl's like, I thought you didn't like being called that. Should fucking uh, uh, you two are marrying me. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, choice by like the a, anointed. Oh, oh, the anointed. <laughs> and like, he just questioned it. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh, the anointed. Because <laughs> he got recognized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, 
And we have to play as Teb to fucking break us down. <laughs> Teb's the only one that's believing her bullshit. <laughs> Teb's the arrow ace, and he's just kind of like, okay, break it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking stop hovering. <laughs> you yeah. Land. Aw, it's Teb really just a jetpack. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, nah, I'm going to fuck with the peons. <laughs> Congratulations, I fucking won. Just because you've completed Ailey's main story doesn't mean you finish the game. You're free to, I guess I can. Restore to just but it, ta- it puts shadow. me before yeah. the Looming Shadow. Are you shed. looting experience? You keep everything, though. Yeah, That's for nice. Master, so, cool. so I guess it's going to just fucking, hey, here. Neat. Yay. Yay. Oh, good. Thank you for the and skill platinum. point. platinum. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was here for. That's what I wanted you guys to see. <laughs> because fucking I spent a lot of time yeah you did I actually really didn't it was just like a day and my mom was watching me I was like motherfucker because goddamn trials <laughs> but and she's like I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed I was like no that's fine sorry I've been yelling <laughs> and then I like beat it the second she left I was like of course like, god damn it <laughs> it's really mad performance about that. anxiety huh performance anxiety yeah I, I don't really have that with video games but fucking uh, fucking just with the bad luck mom <laughs> yeah anyway this has been horizon zero dawn uh Woo-hoo. thank you for joining us on this 62 episode extraordinaire good lord and uh well thank god we can't start streaming we also uh beat the game i want to say we beat the game at 13 minutes and it took half an hour for the credits i was gonna actually mention that too i was yeah. like the game fucking ended like 12 minutes yeah or whatever. But those credits like, were long i was like oh fuck i mean credits <laughs> are gonna happen but like jesus well and like the thing that like confuses me is because i, I could have like, skipped by the credits i guess but i kind of feel like it's a douche move to play same. the entire game and then not give them the fucking recognition well like when dad and i for making it i didn't fucking look for loish god damn it anyways when dad and i went to go yeah. see wonder woman mm-hmm. it's spoilers there's nothing after the credits no thanks but um it's not really spoilers but <laughs> that's where just saving me from wasting my time well like my dad is gonna sit through them anyway no like that was the thing is like he paid for it the moment that the like fancy <laughs> credits were over and it just like you know did the scroll yeah dad immediately pulled out his phone looked up to see if there was anything after the credits found out there wasn't was like okay let's go and i I'm literally like, do the same thing now because like i'm grand like okay cool i'll wait i'll, I'll you know have my money be well spent right but fuck waiting if there's nothing <laughs> i don't care unless the movie's like extra comp- or the music is extra compelling right and i, I enjoyed care. the music in wonder woman yeah i liked it i'll see if it's good uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I said that. I didn't mean the way it came out. I just don't your have opinion. Your opinion's invalid. Yeah, I was like, I choose if things are good. I mean, it's your like opinion. You, you can have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are very good. Let me sit in your lap. You want to sit? Want to see my ass? Mm. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait. Take off your clothes. Wait. <laughs> fucking wait. Okay. Twerk. I got a fucking. He's looking at you too. He's like. Uh... <laughs> he looks really <laughs> fucking <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh, f- yeah, I can hide myself and just take a fucking take a photo of him, just like looking all bored uh, and shit. I fucking. Oh, the grip. roll of thirds. It's not even letting me move around. That's weird. Interesting. Because I'm normally able to, yeah, photo get out of there. Is it because of like the angle, maybe or whatever? Sup, bro? <laughs> he's like, ooh, who, who she? Yeah, he's putting his hand there to cover like his half chub. Yeah. Oh wow, it's not letting me fucking do shit. Which is, can I just not hear? Maybe, maybe you can't in cities. I was, I was gonna take a fucking picture with him. Yeah. <laughs> can you do it out here? I was gonna see actually, honestly. Shit, I keep. I want Wrong that to button. be the right thing. Nope. nope. Interesting. Well, oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Don't care. Because we're going to have her fucking, like, awkwardly pose next to him. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? What's up, bro? But yeah, no, like, I had done, like, literally everything in this game. Uh, just prior. And it, like I said, it only took, like, a night. Cause, but, like, all the fucking trophies are goddamn hidden, which is motherfucking annoying. That is annoying. So. Hey. <laughs> there. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> and he's just like she's in front of me again isn't she <laughs> <laughs> white power uh, oh dear <laughs> he's like 
pushes me off the fu- first i get impaled on this shit yep and then i fucking die and he was that like was the, so everything's dead now that was the thing at the um offices was the uh the staircases mm-hmm. and like it had like those um the fancy um poles at the end and it was like fucking like a sharp point and i was like bruh bro man if someone <laughs> kills somebody with this if someone fucking uh attacks us Mm-hmm. You know where to push him. <laughs> right? <laughs> push him down the stairs. They'll fucking skewer an eyeball on there or something. Exactly. Ugh. Anyway, thank you for watching our Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough, even though it was kind of absurdly long. Yeah. For, I mean, not not as long as Dragon Age. So no. There's well, that. There's and, that plus. And then there's me, my idea of toying with making just a master Dragon Age playlist. All three series in one long ass playlist. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> that's the fucking, that sounds like a terrible idea. But, uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe. You know, I'm not going to make you, but I will come to your house and point a gun at your head if you don't. Jesus. <laughs> uh, comment, like, whatever. Feel free to suggest games for us to play. We're always looking for more. We're particularly running out of a few ideas lately. Mm-hmm. So definitely, definitely, definitely suggest some. That'd be super cool. Um, and otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for sticking along. So until next time. Bye. bye.